In this tutorial I will show you how to annotate the horizontal alignment so we have the stationing showing for every 20 meters we have some information about the geometry the point of where we change from a straight line and going into a circular curve and also the point where we go from the circular curve and into a tangent First we need to open a preference file, so we need to go to File and select Open. In this case we need to browse to the Inroads folder and we need to open the Preference folder and now select the Preference file, select Open. And to add the stations we need to go to Geometry, View Geometry and Stationing. In this case we need to select the, the preference, so we will select the one in 1 to 1000 because we want to set up the row plan in the scale of 1 to 1000. So we'll select the 1 to 1000 and select load. And this preference file has some information. If we have if we go and select the regular station, in this case we can see that we have something called major stations. And if you click on the right side, in this case we can see that we have some stations that will be showing with a height of 3.5 millimeters, however we want to show the height of the text it should be 2.5 millimeters. So just change the height say OK and do the same with the minor stations and in this case we can see that the station are showing for every 20 meters for the minor station and we have the major station showing for every 100 meters. However it will not make a big difference with the major and minor station since we have designed them to be the same text height. So if you select apply now you will see that we have all of the stationing showing along the horizontal alignment. We have some information that this is this part right here is a tangent with a radius of infinity and from this point we have a radius of 300 meters and also it shows the station where we go from the change from the tangent and into the circular curve. Let's say in this case that I actually wanted the start starting station to be at this end instead of, um, of the starting point which we have at the moment right here. In this case you can change the starting point going into geometry, select utilities and in this case you want to select transpose and now you need to select the alignment so we'll just select this icon up here afterwards select the alignment and if you want to accept you need to left click and if you then select apply and afterwards if we go back to geometry view geometry and stationing select apply to add the stations in this case we can see this is the end station at this point and then we will have the starting station at this point right here